When you write a paper for a graduate class, you'll quickly realize that the expectations for your writing are much different than they were in undergrad. One of the areas in which this is particularly obvious is a thesis statement. This video will show you how to discern the major components of an effective thesis statement. So what's the big difference between a thesis for an undergrad paper and a thesis for a grad paper? To put it simply, thesis statements for graduate papers are sophisticated. They should be arguable, specific, and able to be supported by relevant theory. Let's start by looking at what it means for a thesis to be arguable. Here are two examples. Which one is arguable and which one is a statement of fact? Pause the video while you read over them. When you're ready, hit play to find out if you've chosen correctly. This thesis statement is arguable. It states a claim and offers a reason for this claim. People may disagree with either the reason for the claim or have a different reason to accept the claim. The bottom example is simply a statement of fact offering something that really can't be argued or disagreed with. In fact, it would probably be difficult to write a paper supporting this thesis. You'd probably run out of things to say. Now let's take a look at the second characteristic. A thesis should be specific. Take a look at these two examples, pause the video as you did before, and decide which one is specific and which one is too vague. When you're ready, hit play to find out if you're correct. You might have been able to tell by the differences in length, but this example is the more specific. While more words doesn't necessarily mean that a thesis is specific enough, this example goes into sufficient detail in addition to offering an arguable claim. This example, however, is really vague. What kind of limitations is it talking about? Why is it a useful framework? This statement needs to be developed more before it can be effective. Remember that graduate level work is more rigorous than what you did in undergrad. The expectations for specificity are likely to be higher. Finally, let's take a look at the last element. An effective thesis statement can be supported by relevant theory, particularly when you're writing a case study. Take a look at these two examples, pause the video, and decide which one can be supported by relevant theory. In this case, the number of words doesn't really tell you anything. This example makes an arguable claim, which we know is important, and that claim can be backed up by theory relevant to the issue. The other example basically summarizes the organization, but doesn't offer anything that can be argued or supported by relevant theory. You don't have to come up with a perfect thesis before you can start researching or writing your paper. Oftentimes, writers start with a so-so thesis and modify it as they conduct research and think more about their topic. In the first example we looked at, the statement of fact could be turned into the more effective claim. Rather than starting out with a perfect thesis, it's important to know approximately what you want to say in your thesis and modify it until you have something that's effective. Remember that a paper is a chance for you to engage deeply with a topic, develop your own stance on an issue, and share that with your reader. A great thesis statement helps your reader get a grasp of your position before they dive into the body of your paper, where they'll find the support you provided for your thesis. For help constructing an effective thesis statement, ask your professor for help or make an appointment with the Writing Center.